Hi everybody, this is Rob with Deliberate Living Systems. Today's Friday, April 10th, 2015. We're back out here at York Meadow Farm where over the past week and a half, we've identified our key point, laid out a contour line, run two additional contour lines at one foot intervals uh, to the south or higher. And what we're gonna do today is set up the laser level and start running additional contour lines one and two feet down towards the uh, northeast side of the property. So come on, let's, uh, let's check it out and set up the level. Okay, we've got the laser set up at an arbitrary point. You can see the yellow flags, which indicate the contour line from the key point. The red flags are the contour line, one foot in elevation above the contour line from key point. And the blue flags are in the ground at a point two feet above the contour line run from the key point. So what we're going to do is just for grins and to get a better idea of the lay of the land and also more experience with the laser level is lay out one, possibly two contour lines in this general direction to the uh, northeast. But ultimately, I'm feeling pretty comfortable with the contour line from the key point and then Maybe what we'll do is make some adjustments to the contour line in uh, a key line-esque type of method, but we'll see what happens and we'll take it from here. Okay, so we've got our laser running and our detector up, and all we need to do is just find out where we are, where our level is, and once we have an initial point set, we can do some quality assurance checks on other points and make sure that we're set on contour and then take it 12 inches lower. Okay, after getting consistent measurements at five feet and a little over two and three quarter inches, we're gonna drop the detector down to four feet. Oop. We are, we're dead on. We're gonna drop the detector down to four feet, two and three quarter inches, and make a contour line there. It's definitely worth pointing out that I mentioned I would take this down to four feet, three inches. Well, four feet, two and a little over three quarter inches. But when we're trying to find one foot elevation lower than contour, we're going to want to set the laser level up a foot at six foot two and three quarter inches to compensate for the foot in elevation loss that we're setting a contour line on. So it's important to understand that and otherwise uh, you don't be able to find your contour line. So after making a quick adjustment to six feet two and a little over three quarter inches, we've got things set up and we'll start making and finding contour lines at this point, listening to the song of the laser bird as we find contour. I feel like after laying out just four or five flags and taking a look at the previous contour line, we can begin to identify a pattern in the land and almost move to exactly where our next flag is gonna be located. It becomes easier once we step back and allow ourselves to simply read the landscape. So that's about it for uh, this evening's little video on running the laser level. Like uh, Greg Burns says from nature's image farm there ain't nothing to it but to do it so by no means am i an expert but i have spent some time out here and become a little bit more proficient with doing it and the laser levels are cheap and if you have some friends close by that it's something that's easily cost shared with one another so grab one check it out this one is a cst burger lm 30 i believe and uh, i got the package 
on uh, reconditiontools.com for a little over 200 bucks. At any rate, the previous reference to Song of the Laser Bird is actually something I heard fr from Mark Shepard and Peter Allen. I wish I could take credit for that, but I can't. Um, a lot of what I'm passing on through these little videos are is information that I learned from those guys and many others. So as I learn things, I'm going to try and continue to share uh, the sources with you guys and just share the knowledge. And I look forward to hearing from you about what we're doing and what we can do differently. And hopefully there's something here that you can take away and apply in your own life. Thanks for tuning in and stay tuned for future videos. Bye bye. Okay, I decided to include one final video as we're wrapping up the evening here. The flags in blue indicate a contour line that is one foot below the flags in yellow off in the distance. So, as previously stated, the yellow flags indicate a contour line that is run from the key point along the driveway. And the blue flags are one foot in elevation lower than the yellow flags. What I also did was measure out a distance of 100 feet on the contour line marked with the yellow flags and you can see that those three orange flags right there and also the orange flags off in the distance on the yellow line are at another interval of 100 feet and more or less that's another 100 feet at the fence line on contour. So I think what we're going to do is take the contour line marked in yellow, which is the contour line from the key point along the driveway. We're going to have a key line run betw somewhere between 0.25 and 1% which is going to direct the water, which is pooling near the driveway, down towards this direction. 0.25 and 1% off of that contour line will make or provide us with a line that is somewhere in this general vicinity and in between the yellow and in between the blue, ultimately directing water towards the fence line somewhere down in that direction. And ultimately what we might have is a small pond there, which we will utilize as a watering area for livestock when we cycle them through the future area that will become our food forest and silvopasture. So stay tuned and we'll watch this all come together.